What's going on guys? Welcome back to a video that you've been waiting for. I've been, device been waiting to try. A video that, you know, you wanna watch some TV, but you can't watch while you're driving. Remember, don't watch TV while you're driving, okay? So, this video, you can buy it, but you can't watch while you're driving. You can do whatever you want once you buy it, but let's get started. Also guys, I will uh, make a video. I'm testing it on the Rammer. Uh, well, because that's all we got in here. I will test it on like the Ford. I will test it on the uh, Denali's. I don't know if it works with every truck yet, but I will test it on the um, Ram over here. Now, I know my buddy where I get it from, Raj, he has it. He said it works on like the GMCs. Uh, he did it in his Jeep, his Hellcat Jeep. I think it works with anything with CarPlay, but I will test it for you guys in the Denali. And I think the Denali, only reason, because I saw somebody, he was watching TV in his Denali, it's probably the same thing, because it's like the biggest, hottest thing on the market right now. Uh, but I'm gonna test all that for you, and I will find out from Raj, it's a little late right now, I will uh, text him, see if he responds, he might be sleeping. But uh, I will try to figure it out for you guys. First things first, get in your rammer. And then, once you're in your rammer, actually, you're going to, uh, I'll show you the box. That's what I should show you first. So in the box, you're going to, well, get this device right here. It's going to come with this plug. And this is how easy it is, guys. You literally, you can't mess this up. Now, it will come with a GPS also. I'm not doing a video on that because I already have GPS, so we're not going to talk about GPS. This is just to mirror and watch whatever you want on this thing while you are parked. So... Here's a box, okay? Do not worry about this. You're gonna, right here, worry about this part. Bam, see this, USB-C? Plug this bad boy right into there. And if you can't figure that out, then uh, you shouldn't uh, try this at home. But I'm pretty sure everybody can get this. So plug that to there, plug this bad boy into uh, one of these USBs right here. Or I think it's gotta be uh, your car play. So for my car play, it's going to be this one right here that's the car play turn the key in the on position close the door so you don't hear that dang dinging do you want a pair of phone nope now give it a sec so if this does um you know say you turn it on and it says like hello for a while because it happened to me just unplug it and i plugged it back in and it's never done it again so give it a sec yeah see this sometimes it gets stuck on this hello portion it did it just one time for me uh but that was it bam streaming media okay here you go so this is going to be the home screen that you guys see now it's pretty much android based uh from what i see here so first thing you guys are going to want to do and this device now you can just put it wherever you want tuck it in do whatever you want you're not going to need it it has to be connected to wi-fi so i'm already connected to wi-fi how you're going to connect it to wi-fi is scroll over to the settings bam and then once you hit it it will show all of the Wi-Fi options. So, since I've connected to Wi-Fi, now... Oh, here's another thing real quick. So, maybe some of you guys uh, want an app and you're like, dang it, you know, I, I can't get this app on here. That's okay, because you can take your phone, your uh, iPhone or Android, whatever you have, and you can actually cast it on here. Now, I haven't played with this thing fully, fully yet, because I wanted to make this video, because... My DMs were just blowing up when I made those little, like, I don't know, clips for you guys. So I wanted to make this video ASAP because um, they are finally out now. So uh, you can mirror the phone. You can see if you go here, phone screen, pick Apple, Android, whatever you got. Mirror that. Or if you don't want to deal with any of that, you're going to go here, more apps. See that? Now, I downloaded, like, YouTube and YouTube TV. <clears throat> uh, I think it comes with Netflix. I'm not sure. But... So here's all the apps right here. You can download more from the Play Store, Google Play Store. And it's pretty much this easy, guys. You're going to click the Netflix button right here. Give it a sec here. And it will load up. And this also, see this little, this is like your home, like your menu bar. Uh, this you can move. So if you tap this, oops. So if you tap this right here, you can get it out of the way. Put it, you know, wherever you want. And then you can search on, you know, whatever uh, you want to watch. So we'll go right over here, mile 22. Let her load up. And surprisingly, guys, this thing is pretty fast. Usually 
they come out with these, you know, gadgets and gadgets and they suck. You know, no offense. They usually suck and they're very, very slow. Uh, you notice, know, see, that went away. So give that a sec. So I'm like, oh, that's annoying. Is that staying there? It goes away. Give it a little bit. But surprisingly, guys, I'm very impressed that it's fast. It's not laggy. Again, that depends on your Wi-Fi. You know, if you got crappy Wi-Fi, obviously it's not going to work. But uh, it usually even when you have good Wi-Fi, these devices still suck and don't work. This one does. And then here you go. You can listen. It works without all Mr. the speakers. That's pretty awesome. No knows exactly where it is. Yeah. He has locked the information. So if you want to just get out of this and just said, ah, I don't want to watch, you know, Netflix, hit the back button. Or if you want to get out of it completely, hit the home button. Now you're back to the main screen. Now, what I would recommend, guys, because I've been playing with a lot, and this is what I really wanted to test, is I was opening up just every single thing on here. I noticed it started a little glitchy. What I did, I hit this cleanup. Also, this memory cleanup complete. And this thing got much faster, loaded stuff much quicker. There was no uh, hesitation, anything uh, like that. So it's just pretty awesome. But I have not, um, you know, really got deep, deep into this. I just played with the main things that we're going to be using here. I like that it has VLC. What's nice about VLC is if you download something. So for an example, you can download stuff on here. Like I said, it's got memory. I mean, if you go to the home option, you hit settings. You can see, um, where was it? Somewhere in here though, I think it's got 32 gigs of storage in it. So if you do want to download stuff, uh, you can. Uh, you can connect your phone right here. So if you want to just pair your uh, phone, because obviously, you know, if you're, you have this hooked up and the, I don't know if you do use CarPlay, you know, it's not, it's going to pretty much pick this. So I would hook up, you know, uh, the Bluetooth by phone, See, I, I don't, I don't know what that is, but um, you can, you'll see your phone there, and it will pair it. You know, honestly, guys, for me, I, I'm probably not going to use this for driving in town. If I go to the desert, long drive, I'll turn it on. You know, if the kids or the wife want to watch TV, I'll turn it on. Now, if you do uh, scroll over, go right here to the file manager. This is right here where um, you can do NFC share your memory. If you do want to download something. Uh, add music, you know, whatever you want on it. This is going to be where all the goodies are right here. Now, I am going to try to contact the company, guys, because it's it's a good product. But there are some bugs that I don't like in this. I will, and everything I've told you is a pro. This has tons of pro. The pros will outweigh the con. One con on this is if you use your hotspot on a, your phone. So for an example, it needs Wi-Fi. This thing is not five gigahertz supported. So the problem where if you have hotspot like in uh, these trucks, I think they are 5G. So I won't find it. My phone, 5G, won't find it. But now my uh, Samsung phone over here, you get the option if you look, I think that's the hotspot. See, if you look right here, you could pick 2.4. That's why this is on 2.4 because I was testing it today and my cell phone or the truck would not work, which I'm, I'm kind of bummed out about that because that's a big deal. You know, if we, like for me, I pay for the hotspot in this so when my son gets in here, his iPad is connected automatically, ready to go. I don't have to use my hotspot. Uh, you know, the phones, I don't know. I don't think these iPhones can, you know, I can't find an option to go to 2.4. So. That's the biggest flaw about this thing, guys, is it is not five gigahertz supported. So I'm going to try to contact the company, see if we can do an update. Because if you do go to the settings here and you go here to, I think it was general, uh, driver alert. <clears throat> no, there was an option how to upgrade. What was it? Dang it. I got it. I don't know. It, there was, I found where it said how to upgrade. It was under here, more apps. Yeah, version. So you see this? If you hit version, shows you all the version now this is um oh here's the ram and the rom right here so it is 4g 30 yeah 32 gigs like i thought okay uh but how to upgrade so check it out usb drive update so it looks like we can update in the future with the usb which will be nice because i do want to try to contact them and tell them you know let's get some five gigahertz in here so we can connect to the trucks and add 
couple things. Like, here's another thing that's weird is if you go to the apps, and Hulu, I mean, it's it's pretty popular. I don't know how popular it is, but people know about Hulu. So for some reason, when you go here, if you type in Hulu, it does not pop up, which is very strange uh, because, you know, it's Android compatible. So, but you got Netflix, you literally have everything Prime but Hulu, which, you know, let's just add Prime while we're here. Install, I'll show you guys how fast it is. But just little things like that, like it's very weird why they wouldn't have Hulu, you know, pop up here, which, I mean, I don't really watch any Hulu or Netflix or any of that stuff, but it, it just for the customers that do want it, I think, you know, they should put just a little more, a little more stuff, a little more options in this thing. Okay, guys, so I just downloaded a ton of apps, pretty much every app that I mainly use. Now, if you got DirecTV, this is pretty cool, because I was wondering why wouldn't the Hulu app work? I wonder what other apps not going to work. There is a, I mean, look at this. I can monitor my surveillance system on this thing while I'm driving. So if I'm sitting here driving and I want to go to all 16 cameras, there you go. Look at this. I mean, this is awesome. Look at that. I want to check the garage, check on the rammer. Oh, guys, this is awesome. Look, this is not a watch. We'll go here to clear to the HD mode. Clear it sucks a lot of, of data, but look at that. That is awesome. Can't see me in, in the truck. Wait, can, can you see? Right, right, yeah, 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 you can't see through the window. But that's awesome. I can literally monitor my surveillance right here while I'm driving. So this thing like does everything, guys. Now what I wanna do also is I wanna try out the uh, Direct TV app. Because that would be uh, pretty cool if it works. You know, you guys can literally have direct TV in your truck. Now, for you guys that are, I don't know, maybe like the hotshot guys um, that are driving all day or stopping in truck stops or relaxing. You know, I mean, I don't know. Um, this thing, I've literally had this thing on accessory for a long time. And luckily with these diesels, they got two batteries. So you can last a quite a while, you know, on these two batteries. But I don't know. I mean, look, it's got, here's all Drake TV. I mean, HBO. I don't know. Let's just, let's hit one and see what it does. If it loads up. Oh, the Tonight Show. Look at that. Dude, this thing is awesome. Might as well just live in this thing. Look at that, guys. Sell your house, buy yourself a rammer. <laughs> no, don't do that, guys. Buy a house first, then buy a rammer. And this is pretty cool, guys. Since you got YouTube, Spotify, everything on here, you can listen to your music and watch the music video. Look at that. So I mean, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know you can do that. It's pretty awesome. You know, since this thing works on anything CarPlay, we're going to try it real quick in the wife's Mercedes because, well, if it works in this thing, it's going to work in anything. So let's see uh, how it does in here because I was doing a little more research on it and it just looks like that if you got CarPlay, uh, well, you're good to go. Yeah, I just plugged it in. It says here, Apple something, yada, yada. Okay, we're just going to hit accept. Starting Apple CarPlay. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 it's a little small. Oh, okay. So now, since this thing, I don't think it's touch screen. What the? Wait, if you can watch a movie on this whole thing, oh, that's pretty nice. Hmm. So if it's not, I don't think, yeah, this isn't touch screen, so I think you're gonna use this little knob. Yeah, you gotta use this knob, which personally I like this better. I don't like touching my screen. All right, let's go here. So let's just, uh, I guess here, we'll just go to go to Netflix and see uh, see what it looks like. Well, I'm curious to know if it like breaks it half or if it'll play on this whole screen. So that's pretty cool guys, on the Mercedes, it will actually play on the entire screen. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. So you know it'd be pretty cool. Probably I'll admit on the new Fords, I think the new like F-150s, they got that massive screen. So if it plays on that whole thing too, that'd be pretty awesome. Well, I guess there you go guys, it works on CarPlay or works on Mercedes. So it's probably gonna most likely work on your GMC and everything else that you have with CarPlay. So like I said guys, the only downfall is going to be that whole two, uh, 2.4 gigahertz five and five gigahertz. Now, I know on the older 
iPhone, I believe not on the brand new one. The older one, it switches automatically between the two because I've tested a lot and some people use their iPhones, uh, regular iPhones, and it connects to it, you know, but you know me, I'm not gonna let this go. So we've pulled this thing over here on the workbench and I've ripped it open. And I'm gonna pull these screws out and I'm gonna just see, try to make it easy for the people that have already purchased this that have it and wanna connect to the RAM. But we're gonna do to fix this issue. The only thing we really gotta do, guys, is just swap the Wi-Fi uh, module out. That's it, to a 2.4, to pick up 2.4 and five gigahertz. So guys, I have found the wireless card. So this is the Bluetooth side. Right there is the, let me see. This is the wireless side. So I gotta do a little more homework, and figure out what we can do to change that, and I will update you guys. And they are everywhere. I have seen them online. The problem is I have tried a ton of them. I have a ton of them. The majority of them, no offense, like I said earlier, guys, suck. Um, some don't work, you know, they're laggy, they're just so slow. This is finally the first one that I have tried, or actually this is one of the multiple that I've tried that, this is the first one that actually works and works proper. So just hit up Raj and he'll look you guys up. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.